Now let's take a look at, at probably one of the most cont hotly contested races in this year's primary election in Montana. This is a real contrast between the lieutenant of Lou Jones's main lieutenant, Nancy Balance, and we have to keep in mind, folks, for uh, here in the Bitterroot or Valley, Nancy Balance started out as a Tea Party person, and her voting record in the first couple of sessions weren't bad. But then, when she did not win the majority or Speaker of the House position, she got upset and joined with the splinter group of Jones and started pushing all of Jones' material. So she's been on appropriations. She's really Jones's point person on appropriations, on the deals he cuts with the Democrat governors. And so we're going to show a comparison because now she is running for the Senate position and her opponent, of course, is Representative Manzella. And so they're, they're an excellent comparison. There's, there's a real cut and dried uh, example between the, within the Republican Party of what we're talking about when we talk about this swamp and this Democrat crossover. And here, Representative Manzella, and I'm going to have Lonnie go ahead and give a visual demonstration and we'll discuss it more. Okay, so these were, uh, these were, what I did was I printed out all the crossover votes of each of the candidates. Uh, Representative uh, Teresa Manzella, House District 85, she had 55 out of the 610 votes were crossover votes. So that gave her a crossover rate of 9% with a rating score of A. So these are all Representative Manzella's crossover votes. And then by comparison, this would be Representative Balance's uh, crossover votes uh, working in the Solutions Caucus. Representative Balance, House District 87, she had a cross crossover, 219 crossover votes out of the 610 scored. That gave her a crossover rate of 36% and giving her a grade score of F. So here's, here is Representative Balance's crossover votes. Your stick is a little bit oh, short. Yeah, I'm going to run out of room. I'm running out of room. But, uh, you know, and we don't mind if somebody wants to vote with the Democrats, but if you quit lying to people about the fact that you're a Republican when you're crossing over and supporting all of the Democrat programs and getting them passed. Uh, this is where our real issue is. I mean, if somebody wants to vote with the Democrats, hey, run as a Democrat. Be honest about it. That's all we really ask. And so here you go, a 9% crossover. Everybody crossed over, all the Republicans cross over some because there's going to be local issues and not all Republican bills are, are good and not all Democrat bills are bad. I mean, we're, we're, we, we recognize that. I had a lot of crossovers when I was in the legislature. However, when you start crossing over a third of the time, you're no longer really becoming a Republican. You're sabotaging your Republican leadership and your Republican platform. And again, we want to emphasize, because there's been a lot of misinformation flowing around out here about this Legistat's uh, comparisons. These are voting scores are side-by-side -side comparisons on the exact same bills. That's why we use the same session and we have people that are coming in and we, there's, there's no way they can say that this was uh, any kind of cherry picking or change. And if you want to go ahead and verify all this, all you have to do is get out to legislatorloyalty.com and that's a very involved website. You can go in there and you can pull up individual bills. You can actually go right to the legislature website and read the bill. So we want an informed electorate. That's the main thing. And we want to go ahead and expose people who are not being truthful about their voting records.